So, we have these two animations. Uh, we're gonna call animation A and animation B. And if you want, we can play a game, okay? Yeah, let's, let, let's play a game. The game is, write down a comment. And let me know which one of these is made with Flash and which one of these is made with, um, with Prism. Simple as that. The thing that you're going to win in the end, if you get the answer right, is absolutely freaking nothing. Maybe I'll give you a heart. I don't know, I'm a good person. I, I'm, I'm giving away hearts today and tomorrow and the day after. Yeah. Hello and uh, welcome back. Yeah, welcome back. Uh, yesterday I tried to record this and this is what I got dying inside and outside and I don't know how that works, but let's go. Yeah, I think today's a bit better. And it's a bit dark because it's, it's late. But at least I don't have to babysit people and I don't have to be that, that, that worth. What was that worth? What was that? Yeah, 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 turf wheel or something, yeah. Anyway, let's get going with the video. Today we're comparing two animations. One of them is made with Flash, the other one is made with Krita. So if you're interested, let's uh, get uh, uh, going. I did two videos <laughs> on this topic, and oh my god, I did make two animations with two different programs, programs, and today I did that as well. I have two animation or animations over here. They're both frame by frame, and both of them have cell shading. Now, as I said in the beginning, you have to pick which one is which. You can write that, uh, down your comment before I reveal to you which one is which. I should probably take. To show you behind the scenes well, how I did it, why I did it. Uh -huh. So we're gonna first start with Anya, as we know Anya, that little uh, pink annoying girl over there. I decided to have a uh, wobbly lines on her character because she didn't have much of a movement there, and I wanted to create something very quick and it could be a looping animation with in mind. So I'm like, yeah, let's just do the uh, the wobbly lines. The way you do that is. Uh, I mean, you see the effect here, right? The way you can do that in Krita is basically you control the first pulse and the second pulse. And then you can grab these two frames and then you copy and paste them, copy and paste them, and you get an effect like this. In Flash, though, it's a bit different. In Flash, it's a little bit more sufficient, efficient, not sufficient, what? More efficient way to do that. And actually, in Flash, if you want to do this effect, it's like you have to draw only one of the poses. So in this case, she's just standing there and watching the big bear um, drinking the bear, the, the bear <laughs> drinking the coffee. So I only drew her once and I copied that um, frame, that, that keyframe. And what I did is I went to modify. Uh, where's modify? Modify is over here. And then symbol, and then not symbol, shape, 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 there you go. Shape, and then I add smooth a couple of times because Flash is vector based program, right? And it um, allows it to calculate the, recalculate the points to make your life smoother. So that thing, like we already had a copy of that frame, and that frame kind of changed it a little bit. It's like, it, it does, I feel like it's, faster that way to do it in flash and it does get the effect so so far i might say that will give one point to flash even though remember flash is not free and you have to be on a budget uh here and if you don't want to use flash we can always use crypto because we we kind of well we didn't get this the same effect in crypto but it was a bit long way to get there while in flash our work was cut in half and we still get we still got the same effect, which I was very surprised, and that was the first time I had a, a realization. I'm like, wait a minute. Actually, I might consider going back to Flash, even though I have never used Flash. Uh, I think I used it once or twice for uh, specific projects, but it was never on my list to use that program ever, ever again, especially for animation, because one of my, my main reasons for not using Flash is the brush stroke. It just doesn't feel natural, it doesn't feel organic. It is better based, yes, and maybe that's one of the reasons, but I have, I have heard other people complain about that, and I'm like, yeah, I kind of, kind of agree. But, so far, so good. So, one point to Flash, but then again, we need to remember that we can achieve the exact same effect in Krita. And Krita, it's free. So, the, I feel like they're both like equal to a certain degree. I, I'm still not going to tell you which one is which, though. 
So let's go to the other character, which is the bear. Bear. It's a it's a bear. It's a very basic character. I know. I I, I might try to to design something else for as as a mascot on this channel because it's been a while. <laughs> oh boy. So yeah, the bear is very simple. The only movement that we see with the bear is with the hand going back up and down, drinking the coffee, and the other movement is the the coffee coming out of the bear. Before we get into that, um, I feel like I expressed to say that my concept for this animation I made in 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 Krita. So from there, I got a picture, I got an illustration like this, and based on that illustration, I use in in Krita and in Flash to replicate or to animate basically the movement that will happen. And overall, I think both of the programs did well. But there's the thing: if you have never used Krita, you think, oh. Um, it's, uh, it's a free program, but what's the catch? Well, Krita recently, I, I might say, yeah, recently they added the pretty function there. You can create your animation in Krita. Finally, for fuck's sake, thank you. But there's a problem though. Krita, like any other program, will crash once in a while. And you don't know when that will happen. Same thing goes to Flash though. Flash also crashes once in a while and you, you don't know when, when, it's, when it's going to happen. So there's this uh, thing called uncertainty and it's fine and it happens, you know. Uh, but you should not panic, okay? Don't, don't panic, it's fine. Um, with Krita, when they added the train animation, um, it was a huge revelation because so far they didn't have it. Now they do. In Flash, though, they already had that a long, a long time ago. They had the two animation. Now, when I went to do the 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 hand movement, I um I fucked up in in, in Flash because I forgot how to do it. And when you look at the animations now, side by side, you see that uh, yeah, you will see which one's which. Um, I I didn't do I didn't do the the training properly. But let's say if I did. We still get the same effect. We still have uh, looping animations on both sides. We still have shadows, and we have we still have highlights. And I I I messed up the highlights and the shadows while I was doing this little flash uh, because I got very excited with the wobbly lines and I start like coloring, which is another thing I think is in plus for uh, flash. The coloring happened super fast, super fast. It was, it was amazing. While in Krita, because it's not a vector-based program, I had to plan, and I usually uh, use Krita every day, but, you know, uh, sometimes if you move an object and you want to transform that object, that object already is lost, it lost its quality. While in Flash, if you move something, it will keep up the quality, and be, well, because it's a vector and not a raster image, the way it's in, in, in Krita. So, here, I think... Uh, I can't just bash Krita, right? I have to bash Flash as well. Um, but I think everything comes down to time management. If you manage your time properly, you will get results. At least the results that are closer to what you want. If you don't, you're going to get something like this. Uh, and uh, I, I I, could have re redone this, but honestly, I just didn't want to do it. Let's just say how it is, right? I just didn't want to redo the animations, but it's it's uh once you make the mistake and once you saw the mistake, then you realize oh wait, this is not how you do it. Then you take the step of actually fixing that, and I can see how to fix that now in Flash. But unlike Krita, it's still a raster-based program, and it still may or may not crash on the training animation. If you're on a budget. Those are my final thoughts. If you're on a budget, always go for Krita. But if you can work smarter and faster, you can always pick Flash. I guess, well, if you have a budget, that would be nice. If you don't, Krita is always an option. And I, I, I still use Krita to this day, obviously. I, I use my projects. But what I found out that Krita is way much better for drawing rather than Flash. I guess we need to adapt one way or another. If we want to use one program or another, so I yes, that's my conclusion. I don't know which one to pick. I do enjoy drawing Krita, and I I might still use Krita. For sure, I will use Krita. 
uh, because it's a free program. And if you want to support them, they have a donation on their uh, website, as far as I know. And the other one, as we know, Flash, they, they, they're, they're expensive, okay? But they're not the first ones, uh, neither the last ones. So, I don't know, which one do you think it looks better? I think I messed both of them. And because I'm so used to Krita, I think the Krita one consistently we might look better. But if I have to redo the animation that I did in Flash, I think I will probably pick the Flash animation, which is this one. Uh, because it was faster. Maybe maybe because I already done it in Krita, and when I went to do it in Flash, I thought, oh, I know what to do now. But I did have a couple of problems there because I forgot how to do the animation. I didn't know how to do the wobbly lines. Um, and uh, the way I showed you, and that also t kind of took me time. But once I drew the line, I I would definitely say that the more time consuming one is Critter and not Flash. So that uh, I mean, again, it's really up to you which one you want to use at the end of the day. So that's the, the video. I hope, <laughs> I hope it's better than the previous. I watched them. I didn't watch them from start to finish because I. I had this word cringe, but I, I was cringing. I was like, oh my god, what happened with the hair? Why my hair looks like that? What the hell? Uh, but those are also good videos of, again, comparing two programs for them. Free, the other one paid. And I think Krita has the potential to be a good uh, animating program. At the end of the day, though, Krita is more uh, painting based program towards the uh, uh, artists and uh, other animators and while Flash is well it's an animated program uh, so at the end of the day it's, the choice is yours but if you have never tried Krita give it a go you'll be surprised and th th that's pretty much it uh, I will be traveling I don't know when I'm gonna edit this video but anyway thanks so much for watching uh, you know, stay safe, stay happy, or no, don't stay happy. I mean, be happy, try to be happy. Uh, and I'm gonna see you. Uh, I have no idea when, <laughs> when you guys are watching this. Um, uh, I'm traveling on Sunday, so maybe not Sunday, maybe, maybe next week. But either way, I'm gonna make more. Let me know if you want videos like this one, and yeah, you know, you know what to do, you know, to like, you know, um, share it with your dog. Uh, and your grandma, of course. Don't forget your grandma. And um, I'm going to see you in the next one. And yeah, ciao. Bye. My lightsaber is dying.